Well, let me start by uh, saying what I've said many times uh, in the past, and uh, I keep saying that uh, the seafarers are, uh, in my view, the unsung heroes of uh, an unsung uh, uh, industry. Uh, seafaring is um, a job that uh, has uh, very special peculiarities. It's not like uh, the life we live uh, ashore, where at the end of the day we'll go back home and uh, we'll meet our friends and uh, our family and uh, we will have uh, a nice time in their company. The seafarers, at the end of uh, a very demanding and uh, hard day, they'll go back to their cabin, they will meet uh, the same people who may mean little or nothing to them. We have to acknowledge and recognize uh, their contribution. Acknowledge and recognize the contribution of the one and a half million seafarers from all over the world. Uh, if you take into account that uh, today's uh, world population stands at uh, 6.7 billion people, and also that uh, shipping serves more than 90% of the world trade, then you have one and a half million people serving the needs of more than 90% of 6.7 billion people the world over. We have to uh, pay tribute not only to, to those who serve on ships nowadays, but also to the memory of those who, while serving the industry, lost their lives. The ratio of uh, accidents at sea was uh, five for every thousand ships. Now that ratio has come down to 1.4 and is still improving. The safety of human life at sea will always uh, be on top of uh, the priorities that we have established in this uh, organization. And uh, this uh, has also been reflected in our strategic uh, plan, uh, which asks that uh, uh, we should shift emphasis on to people. In other words, that we should give uh, priority, number one, attention to the human element. And this is what we've been doing, um, I believe, with great success over the years. Unfair uh, prosecution, uh, in many ways, uh, this is... Uh, what we generally call criminalization, unfair criminalization of uh, seafarers in case their ships uh, are involved in, in an accident. In uh, 2006, in cooperation with ILO, we adopted uh, uh, guidelines uh, on the fair treatment of uh, seafarers in the event of uh, a marine accident, and uh, we keep them under review to ensure that uh, uh, they are not unfairly treated we go in, as we have it here. Uh, at the same time, uh, we, we have adopted uh, a, a code uh, of uh, international standards and recommended uh, practices uh, for a, a safety investigation uh, into a marine accident uh, to, uh, to ensure that uh, an investigation takes place and that in the conduct of the investigation, the rights and privileges of uh, the seafarers are not uh, forgotten. Uh, on the, the issue of uh, abandonment of uh, seafarers, again, through our uh, legal committee and in cooperation with uh, ILO, we have adopted uh, guidelines uh, which uh, provide for the compensation uh, for uh, seafarers and their families uh, in case uh, they are injured or they lose their lives uh, or in case they are abandoned in, in foreign ports. And this is something that uh, I personally pursue as much as I can. A further indication of our concern and uh, our uh, recognition of uh, what the seafarers do and what they mean to all of us is the, the, the current year. We have uh, named it after them. 2010 is the year of the seafarers. Uh, we have drawn in cooperation with uh, industry organizations and uh, ITF, uh, an action plan uh, which we have uh, been implementing uh, throughout uh, the year. And as far as uh, our activities in uh, the regulatory regime uh, are concerned, uh, we have uh, put the SDCW conference in Manila as the pinnacle of our efforts. And I'm delighted that uh, 
the conference uh, was so successful and that uh, that pinnacle has been achieved. We have uh, climbed on the summit and uh, we, we have done it with uh, flying colors. While in the Philippines, uh, I asked uh, to uh, meet, if at all possible, wives and children of uh, Filipinos, uh, Filipino Sifares, uh, were held uh, hostage in uh, Somalia. Uh, I thought it was a wonderful opportunity for me to tell them that uh, their pain is our pain, their anguish is our anguish, their uh, uh, agony is our agony, and that uh, uh, they are not left alone. I did not promise them that I would uh, <laughs> see that uh, uh, their uh, loved ones were released, but uh, I sent them a message that the, the maritime community stands by them and uh, does everything possible to ensure that uh, uh, their uh, husbands and, and uh, uh, protectors in, in, in life are, are not forgotten and that every possible effort uh, is being made to ensure that they go back home. We do recognize their sacrifices when uh, they are deprived of uh, the company of families and friends and uh, they work under uh, tremendously hazardous uh, conditions. Uh, from now on, the 25th of June of every year uh, will be dedicated to CIFARES. I think it was a wonderful uh, initiative of the conference and uh, uh, I give uh, full marks uh, to those who had the, the initiative, uh, which uh, I strongly supported uh, from the, the very first uh, uh, time it, it was aired in the corridors of the conference. It is very important that uh, uh, we recognize and acknowledge uh, their services uh, to not only to shipping and uh, to the world economy and, and uh, trade, but uh, to society as a whole. We have to give it to them. Thank you.